I mean, uh, even people that, that are against the embargo, I think, will recognize that until there's you know, some sort of saneness uh, in Cuba, and it can't happen with Castro, there can't be economic development. Del comandante en jefe, Fidel Castro Ruz, y del ministro de las Fuerzas Armadas Revolucionarias, Cuba is no longer a threat to the United States. This, too, Mr. Chairman, could not be further from the truth. But after 35 years of embargo against Cuba, Fidel Castro remains. The economic embargo against Cuba, unless and until there's a free democratic election, some competitive political process, an end to these human rights abuses, is almost a consensus issue in the American political establishment. This embargo not only is not going to end, there's a fair chance we're going to do some more things to strengthen it in the next few months. Well, I think the time has come to admit that the embargo has not worked uh, and to move on to opening up for American business and students and travel and tourism to begin. I think that's the most effective way to sow the seeds in Cuba of bringing about the democratic revolution that we would like to have occur there.